world's first 100 foot fishing rod. Now we looked at numerous ways of putting this together and we've seen a lot of people making mistakes using pipe and metal and all this scientific stuff and it's just not needed. Now we contacted our friends at Hot Tackle and we told them we needed 20 beach fishing rods. Now these rods are very expensive, but we did need to make some modifications. So we just had to cut the bottom off here. Just gonna put a little expander foam here, see if this helps. And last of all, just a bit of sticky tape to bind it. Now the reason I wanted to do this, most of the fishing rods just aren't long enough. Even with the average cast distance, it's just impossible to get your bait where it needs to be. So with my 100 foot rod, in this instance, I should just be able to lower the bait into its position. Yeah, we're going 100 foot. We're going really big. Yeah, so what we've actually done is we've cut the butts of these. Here, we've cut. Then we're gonna make an insertion with another bottom piece like that. And we're just gonna tape the dog and hopefully it holds because we're trying to beat the world record. I think the world record was 72 foot, 72 or 76, 70 something, which is not really that much. So yeah, we'll go for a hundred foot and we'll beat that world record. 70 something foot is pathetic. If you're gonna do something, do it properly, you know? Anything, 100%, 100 foot, same deal. Well, each cut that we've actually made here is about 1.45, so nearly 1.5 meters and we've got 20 of these so 30 meters wow okay 30 meters so we're just gonna we're just gonna duct tape them together um, and try this out and hopefully we can get something we're at a secret spot right now um, a lot of people don't realize that you know fish are in their own backyard they just can't even see them um, you know you go to man-made lakes there's big fish in there yeah pretty simple really isn't it can't believe no one else is out there doing this. We've seen some videos and they're just pathetic. People using like PVC pipe and just, just crap. You know? Yeah, the eyelets are all gonna meet up. It's all set up correctly. Um, this can't not work, you know? So, and really duct tape you can, you can do anything with. What even is this, Kong? Kong tape. Oh, look at this. And there you have it. There's one piece done. Yeah, we've seen on the internet people using PVC pipe and just really pathetic attempts at, at, at breaking a world record. And as you know, I already hold multiple world records and um, this is just really a walk in the park. Usually when you've got one rod, you can only really cast that distance of one rod, but we've got 20 rods here joined together, which means we're gonna be casting the distance of 20 rods, which, if my mathematics are correct, about 12.6 kilometers of a cast. Might um, just increase the tape levels. Oh yes, it's all coming together now. Now well, we didn't really want to use the top part of the rods because it makes it too flimsy. Wanted, wanted to keep it, you know, pretty, pretty straight, you know, because if we do get onto a fish. We don't want that dog getting away, so we've got to keep it pretty stiff. I like stiff things. You gotta have it like You almost got to go two layers, eh? Just to keep that strength. This tape's incredible, it's so strong. Works for, you know, full driving, snatch straps, um, 
Geez, forgetting the tow ball. You could even use it for that to chuck on the end of your boat. Beautiful. It's all coming together now, gentlemen. A dream turns into a reality. Hey? I might get a little feel for it now. Nah, let go. Yeah, it's... That's beautiful. <sighs> just step into the scale. So how many is that? That's one, two... That's only four. Is it? Or is that five? Five. Yeah, that's five. I think this is going to work, eh? Now with a world record rod, I need a world record reel. So today, I've got the 100,000 pen slammer. I've been told this reel could pull in a megalodon if it needed to. Now to run the 1,000 pound leader through the eyelids. You wouldn't want to rig this up every day, would you? You'd be exhausted. And now for the hook. You might have seen a lot of people doing different knots here and there, but there is nothing stronger than a double granny knot. As you all know, I use chicken for bait, and today's gonna to be no different. This chicken will get the dog. Now I'm gonna put this GoPro just halfway up the rod here, so we can still see me good in it, cause I know you all wanna see me. Oh, this thing is heavy. Wow. Oh, can I get it to stand up straight? Up, oh, yep, there we go. Oh, look at that, it's like the Eiffel Tower. All this filthy water we see in this pond here is just storm runoff from dirty gutters, roads and sewers. Miraculously though, very big fish live in here. River monsters. All right, let's cast this chicken leg out now. Get it in the middle and let it simmer. Now, I don't think it's gonna take long. Ooh. Oh, we're on, we're on. No way, oh my God, this is heavy. Wow, what have we got? God, look at it jumping. You're kidding. Oh, yes. Yes. I knew this would work. I knew it. 